We're here. Oh look, it's Juno. Now for that password. Sean's right, that is. I'm always right. About that dead end. That never happened, I was misquoted. This may be water, or it may be some sort of radioactive liquid. Glowing blue liquid. Don't drink it, kids. Do you think it speaks English? Just say it. Okay. 72. Okay. Apple seems to be in the center. Time to find out where those temples are. Yes, time to find out where the temples are. Alright, taco time. If you thought that was done, you are wrong. Hey, Jasmine, those things are all enough to block are like switches. If you hit all of them, you might get some power to the central platform. Or you might cause this room to turn into an alien spaceship and fly away. Think about it. A hundred years I might speak and still you would not know us. You with five senses. Us with six. The one we kept from you. To be safe. Now you can never know. Only try. Grasp. You can see, smell, taste, touch, hear. Knowledge has been locked away. Well, you know, you can. You, you, you guys are dead, so. And it takes you like 10 minutes to say we died. So maybe if you guys just kind of spoke faster, it wouldn't take so long. Where. Okay, where am I going? This is timed, by the way. And yeah, there's, no, there's no on screen timer. Uh, this way? I mean, Juno is basically telling you over and over again that you are stupid. That's basically what she's saying. After, when the world became undone, we tried to pass it through the blood. Tried to join you to us. You see the pollution. You hear the words. You do not know. We should have left you as you were. Yeah, like that. I mean, she's basically saying, look, we tried to make you smarter, but you're still stupid, alright? humans. That's basically what she's saying. Like... It is hard to stay contained. Knowing as we do. We wait for you, Desmond. You will come here. You will activate it. You will know only when it is too late. You have got to be kidding me. Did you hear any of that? Any of what? She's calling you stupid, Lucy. Did you hear that? She's called you stupid. Where the hell am I going? Do I literally have to start at the beginning? These are checkpoints, right? How do I get back up? Uh, no. Alright, so I'm here. Oh, crap. Did you hear Juno calling you stupid, Lucy? I guess not. So basically, Juno is only calling me stupid, then, if nobody else hears her. What the? This seems a bit excessive, if you ask me. But okay. Right, we 
made it this time, right? You what? Come on. Didn't we do this last time? Didn't that happen exactly just like that last time? Why am I going the wrong way? Like what's what's going on? Let's try the other side this time. <gasps> Apparently, it's a puzzle. Only one side works. Maybe the sixth sense is parkour. Maybe that's what they're really good at, because they made the puzzle a parkour puzzle. So it's like, hey, if you pass this, then you are smart enough to understand. So maybe the sixth sense that they're talking about is actually parkour. That would make sense. The, no, what? Oh my god. Maybe the ones who came before are really good at parkour. I mean, look at this stuff. And the assassins are really good at parkour. It makes sense, right? It makes all the sense in the world. Did it. I can't believe. Oh, it's a lot of things you won't believe, Lucy. You won't believe a lot of things. So where are the temples? You want me to ask it? Touch it. Or think it or something. Touch it with your hands. You sure you asked it the right thing? I know this, I know that symbol. That, that's a Phrygian cap. It stands for freedom, and that, that's a Masonic eye. Now those two come together in only one place. What's happening? I, I can't move. Your DNA communes with the apple. You have activated it. Let me go! On the 72nd day before the moment of awakening, you, birth from our loins and the loins of our enemies, the end and the beginning, who we abhor and honor, the final journey commences. There is one who would accompany you through the gate. She lies not within our sight. The cross darkens the horizon. What are you doing? The path must be opened. Yes. You cannot escape your part in this. The scales shall be balanced. Balance the... Oh, I have to move. So you... Yes, balance those scales. Move, Desmond. Move. Stop. Please! No! You know very little! We must guide you! Yes! Be guided, Desmond. Move! Your struggle. Listen to Juno, alright? You stupid. Just, just do what Juno says. No! Yes! Press any button! It is done. The way lies all before you. Only she remains to be found. Awaken the sixth. Go alone. There are so many things you won't believe, Lucy. <laughs> all right, and that's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. We're not done. We are far from done. We have to do the Da Vinci disappearance. And then we have to look at architecture. But there we have we have solved the puzzle. The sixth sense is parkour because the whole game is is, is challenging you to parkour and the one the one person who can parkour can unlock the apple. And all the assassins are good at it because the assassins are the descendants of the ones who came before and the Templars, they can't parkour, and we can, and that, that's why parkour is freedom, and we are going to defeat the Templars and bring parkour to the world. 
Yes. Uh, this game is, is... I mean... I don't know, sometimes I, I, I say, well... Assassin's Creed become this sort of thing where they just rehash the same He's thing. He's gone into shock. Again. Put him back in the machine. It's the only way to fix this. But the Animus did this to it. Am I the expert or not? Do it. No. Yes, back in the Animus. So, I mean, they're, they're kind of just rehashing the same thing over and over again. And, and yet they improve it every time. Like, you guys weren't playing this, I was. So maybe you don't know, or maybe you've played the game before. But the combat here is so much better than the previous two games. Much better than the first game. It's just really smooth and fluid and, and the, the chain tilt. I mean, I'm really, all they changed is the chain tilt. They added that. And the combat turned from being this kind of grindy, annoying thing to just this really smooth, free-flowing thing, which is great. The story is, uh, is a bit naff. I mean, they deliberately don't answer any questions to make you want to buy the next game, so I don't, I don't really know about the story. Um, the architecture seems like they've stepped it back a bit. I mean, they spent all that time recreating the whole of Rome. Well, I mean, bits of Rome. And the landmarks. But they removed the interior segments. In the, in the second game, in Assassin's Creed 2, the interior segments for some of the more famous buildings were quite interesting. Although they didn't do them that well. I mean, they did the Duomo in Florence really well, and then the other stuff not so much. I think maybe what they decided was that in order to make the parkour and the gameplay more fun, they had to break away from the historic buildings. Because... I, I don't... yeah, I think like they, they, I think they decided that it wasn't gonna work too well. I mean, I'm just guessing, but the fact that, it, that it's not here in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, like there's no, there's not that many interior sections. And all the ones that exist are just kind of these caves that are completely fictional, that don't really exist in the real world. So I'm guessing that for those segments, at least, they're putting the, the gameplay ahead of the architecture. And even in the game, it seems like they're putting the gameplay ahead of the architecture. I mean, if you're interested, you can look up all those buildings, and then most of them are there, and then mostly recreated, you know, faithfully. But mostly the architecture just serves as a backdrop for the story and the gameplay. Which is, you know, I mean, it's understandable, it is a game, they have to sell the game, and not that many people are here for, for the Rome recreation, they're more here for the stabbing and the running and the parkouring, right? And the thing, like, and later on, like Assassin's Creed Three and Black Flag, like they're on ships. I haven't played them yet, but I, from what I hear, there's not that many buildings anymore in, in Assassin's Creed Three in that series. It's just cause you know it, it's in a set in a different place. So maybe they just decided that hey, gameplay is important. People pay for gameplay, and you know, architecture is secondary, which is a real shame. It's a real shame if they decided that. Although Assassin's Creed Revelations is quite interesting. Some of that takes place in um, Istanbul. Modern day Istanbul. Back then it was Constantinople or Byzantium. And that's quite interesting. I mean, there's plenty of good architecture in Istanbul. Um, Alright, I don't really have that much to say. Can we skip this? Can we skip this? Can we skip this? Yes. Uh, no. Resume? Uh, can I actually skip this? Maybe I can't. Doesn't seem like I can skip this. What else do I have to say? Not too much. Interesting that the Colosseum in the, in the final segment seems like it's full scale. 
they must have made that first and then shrunk it down and then shrunk down the thing for the Ezio version of Rome. Maybe? Or did they just build two separate things? Actually, they probably built two separate things. That final segment was really well done. I mean, some games, you play them and you find that the final boss and the final segments are a bit naff because they basically leave the end until the end of the development cycle and then they just run out of time and money at the end. So you can tell they didn't do that in this game because the, the textures were really, really well done and the, and the level designs were good and then like this was just well done, the ending. It just looked really good. So they must have made sure to do that right. Which is a good idea. Like, don't leave the ending until the end. Because you want to do that right. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking through all the missions. Most of the missions just kind of highlight either parkouring or combat. I mean, some of them, especially the side missions, a lot of them encourage you to try different ways to, co to do combat, like, you know, the ones where you have to take their weapons, or the ones where you have to use a specific weapon, or you have to use your assassins, or whatever it is. Or you have to, you know, specifically do air assassination, or you have to specifically do a ledge assassination, or stuff like that. So it's all, you know, it's all combat focus. It's all kind of revolving around the player moving around. And the game is... yeah, okay. I mean, I, I would say the gameplay is better than the previous two games. Maybe this game... Maybe this is the best game in the series. I'm just trying to think in terms of the, the balance between, you know, the setting and the story and the gameplay. The story is a little bit strange in Revelations, if I remember right. And of course I haven't played Assassin's Creed 3 or anyone or any other games after that. I feel like Assassin's Creed 2 focused more on the architecture and a little less on gameplay than this game. I don't know if just my, you know, if it was just me or if it really is the case. I still think Florence in Assassin's Creed 2 was the most well done recreation of all the uh, Renaissance cities so far. Venice didn't scale very well. Florence was a really good recreation. Rome? Um, I mean, to be honest, Rome in this game just felt like a bunch of landmarks and then random stuff in between. It didn't feel very coherent as a city. If that makes sense. Maybe it'll make more sense when we look at the actual architecture and try to piece things together compare it with um, the real world because I do plan to do that and that's gonna be a big long discussion because Rome is a really has a really long history and so that's gonna be wait a minute am I reading that right fire too do they seriously have like people dedicated to to the fire? Yeah, anyway. Yeah, so we're gonna look at the history of Rome as well, because, you know, in the game there are these Roman ruins. So we're gonna have to address the history of Rome from Roman times all the way to the Renaissance, and maybe even further ahead to modern day Rome. And that's just gonna be a big long discussion, so that's gonna be awesome for me. I don't know how many of you guys enjoy that sort of thing. So 
Are we done yet? It's a pretty big, pretty big credits. Play test of servers. I've run out of things to say. I have run out of things to say. Uh, we never resolved what that red path is. In the, uh... In Monte Regione. Oh, wait a minute. Was that the path that we followed at the very beginning to find the hideout? Maybe it was. Is this just repeating? It's not, right? The, the relationship advice is really bad in this game. <laughs> I wonder who designed that and why they didn't... The Christina segments? Man, this is bad, bad dating advice from from the very beginning. Who wrote those stories? Like, you, you stalk a girl back to her home? And then you like pretend to be her husband, like you're wearing a mask, you pretend to be her husband. And you make out with her. She thinks it's her husband, and you're making out with her. That is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Like, who came up with that story? Following a girl, like, you, you talk to, like, you randomly talk to a girl in the street. And, okay, you know, it's, that's fine. She smiles at you a little bit, she refuses to tell you her name, and she walks away from you. And you follow her home? Who thinks that is... that is appropriate? That's not appropriate. You don't follow people home, don't follow strangers home, that's stalking. That's literally stalking. Like, who... <laughs> Who wrote that story, man? I don't, I don't know. It's just so bad. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's just wrong. I don't agree with it. The problem with stuff like this is people, this, I mean, I don't know, I don't want to say most, you know, some people might just play the game and not think too much about it, you know? And then just, just think, oh, hey, it's your, I mean, I, I saw it in Assassin's Creed, maybe I'll do it in real life, I just follow a girl home. Don't do that, don't do that. It's not right, alright? I mean, imagine like a, a dude follows you home. You don't know the guy. You don't really like the guy. You see him, he talks to you. And then and you don't really want anything to do with him. And you go home, and then you, you find out he's followed you home. That would scare the crap out of me. It's just some random dude following you home? It's not the right way to start a relationship, alright? Just, just don't do that. Okay, I think we're done. I think we are finally done. Achievement! A knife to the heart! We achieved killing Lucy. Yes.
All right. So the idea is, we go into shock, and they just stick us back in the animus. So now we're just stuck in here. Yeah. So we can't leave the animus anymore. <laughs> we're just stuck in here now. Outfits playing cape. Let's see. Florentine noble attire. Armor of Altair. Robes. We can be Desmond in the game. Purely cosmetic. All right. Equip. Yes. So now I am Desmond in Renaissance Rome. Yes, I am Desmond. Hi. Um, what else do we have? DNA. Peace at last. Yeah, all that is done. So as I said, that the Da Vinci disappearance is not done, and everything, everything else is done. Although, although, viewpoints, Borgia flags, wait a minute, oh, Rome, secret location, okay, I'm missing nine secret flags, or nine flags from secret locations, it doesn't say where it is, I do have to look up a walkthrough to see where they are, but the ones in Rome are all taken, feathers are taken, so really it's only the Borgia flags in the secret locations, guild challenges, I haven't done most of these, Alright, so enter the show challenge. Yeah, so arrow stumps. Oh, I'm almost done. Let's just quickly do that. <laughs> uh, this that's gonna take a while. Uh, mercenaries. Oh, wait, I've seen that already. Quartisans. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. God, poison. We haven't been using poison enough. Poison is so much fun. Thieves skill ranks. Jump from a horse to a beam. Like, why'd you do that? Glide a cumulative total of 500 meters with a parachute. Why'd you do that? And how do you do that? Yeah, anyway. So that stuff I'm probably not gonna spend too much time on. Alright, so I guess the next thing to do is the Da Vinci disappearance. And I might take a break and come back and do that later. Let me just go back to the hideout. Why is everyone wearing historic clothes? I mean, I, I'm Desmond. <laughs> I'm Desmond and everybody is cosplaying. Alright, let's grab this money, rank up our assassins and then I'll take a break. Banco! Withdraw money! Uh, who shall I invest in? I don't think there's anything else to unlock. I can invest here? No, I acquired everything already. Let's find somebody else to invest in. Doctor? Investments? Alright, invest. I'll be close by should you return. And back to the hideout. Oh, do this. Leia she walk on Mortlak, Belkulun Mumkin. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Well, I mean, you're assassins. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. I'm Desmond. You're assassins. <laughs> That's so funny. Hi, I'm Desmond. You can jump off the roof. Alright. We can... We do have more missions to send them on, right? Oh, I didn't do the, uh... Do the arrow storm. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, assassins? Alright, they're all max ranked. Nice. Let's just quickly do an arrow storm, and then I'll take a break. 
because that's the final assassin's challenge, right? Uh, where is somebody I can kill? Come on, there must be a guard around here somewhere. Look at me, hoodie and jeans. And... Done. Yes, Assassin's Guild challenge is complete! Assassin's Guild crest acquired a Tiber Island hideout. Altair's sword? Wait a minute, how good is his sword? Let me just check on my equipment. Okay, I know what I said before. Let me just quickly check Altair's sword. This might actually be the best sword in the game. So apparently I've been unlocking other stuff that I haven't been uh, paying attention to. So I am wearing the armor of Brutus. Yes, I am. Right, so I'm wearing that already. Where's the Greaves? Oh, there you go. So that's good. Where are the uh, weapons? These are the paintings. I've got all the paintings. Let's just check the frames. Yes, all the paintings, and then where's the weapons? Weapons. So here we have the heavy weapons. That thing is oh, interesting. Actually, no, it's not that good. A lot of damage. Don't really like heavy weapons. So, so we're missing one there. See that empty there? Oh, well, I, I know. We have to finish the other challenges to get some of this stuff. So these are also heavy weapons. I think one of these is from the from the uh, mercenaries. So that's not really what I want. Put some daggers here. Actually how good is the dagger of Romulus? Let me just see. Oh I mean the dagger of Brutus. Alright it's 5, 5 and 5. That's the best dagger in the game. Dagger of Brutus. Hammers? Don't really like hammers. Swords, Sword of Altair, 555. Five, five. We are going to equip this. Yes, we are. Uh, Roman Long Sword, Venetian Falchion. I mean, I, I, in, in the end, I decided that speed and deflect are more important than damage. So I was using the Venetian Falchion. But I'll take Altair's sword if you don't mind. And it's all that stuff. Alright, that's cool. So, where's this crest that I unlocked? Don't really understand. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video where we will try to find Da Vinci because he's disappeared. I'll see you guys there.